Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are doing a low income cash stuffing. This is a cash stuffing for all of my bills, all of my weekly expenses, as well as all of my sinking funds. I do this every single week and this is absolutely one of my favorite videos to make. Also very exciting, we are going to be announcing the giveaway winners from last week. So last week I hit 2,000 subscribers, so we are doing a giveaway for that. I do wanna say we are at 2,600 subscribers, I think now, so thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my new subscribers and all of my subscribers that have continued to support me throughout this YouTube journey. So as a little thank you to all of my subscribers, I am doing a giveaway today. I'm I'm announcing the winners from that video. If you are not yet subscribed and you want to be a giveaway winner, go ahead and subscribe and maybe you will win the next giveaway. Like I said, we're already at 2,600, so maybe this week or next week we will be at 3,000 subscribers and we'll have another giveaway. That would be amazing. So before we do the cash stuffing, let's go ahead and jump over to my computer screen and see who our winners are for the 2,000 subscriber giveaway. So this is my computer screen. This is just the main page of my channel. Let's grab the link to that video. So this is the cash stuffing envelopes. This is the giveaway announcement. Anybody that commented on this video is entered into the giveaway as long as they are a subscriber of mine. So let's see, copy that link. I do want to announce, I probably should have made it more clear last time, just like the 1000 subscriber giveaway, I am not yet shipping internationally. I am so, so sorry. So if you are an, are an international viewer and you happen to win, please let me know. I will open the shop and give you anything that you want that is a printable, literally any printable you want. Let me know. I will send you the files to those things. Uh, I just do not, because I have not been paid from YouTube yet, I haven't received my first paycheck or anything like that. I don't really have the extra funds available at this point. I'm so sorry to afford that shipping for international, but I would love to give you guys something. So if you happen to win and you are international, please let me know that and I will send you whatever printables that are in my shop that you would like. So I'm going to filter out the duplicate users. I'm not going to include the replies in the comments because that's typically just me commenting back. And I'm going to snag my YouTube comments so we can see who wins this giveaway. This is just a commentpicker.com. It's just gonna help me pick that random winner. So there are 346 unique entries. That means those are all of the people that could win. Um, let me, before I push start and pick the random winners, let me just remind you guys that if you win, you get to pick anything from my shop that you want. So my shop is Jordan Budgets and it's over on Etsy. You can find the link to that in the description of this video. And I have listed new things in the shop, like the principal trackers are new, the uh, spending trackers are new, I've had some spending trackers, but now I have all of these different color options. I have more labels listed. So basically all of my designs are listed at this point. I have not had the chance yet to put my listings available and make those, um, make like the full set available. But if you win, you are eligible to win a full set. I have the light blue binders. I have the light pink binders. I have the black binders and the dark green binders. So if you want a binder, basically if you win, just tell me what you want from the shop and it's probably available. I just don't have the pictures yet. So you can pick up to 12 envelopes. Basically you can win a binder and up to 12 envelopes, including the ones that I will make. If you are unsure what you can win, please reach out to me. Feel free to email me. It's jordanbudgets at gmail.com. You can reach out on Etsy or reach out on my YouTube channel. I will be happy to clarify. I know I'm not the best at explaining all of the things. So that is what you can win. Basically anything from my shop, just let me know what you want. And let's start that random picker and let's see who wins. Kathy Smallwood, you are the very first winner. Thank you so much for subscribing and for commenting on the video. You have won whatever you want from my shop. So please reach out to me and let me know what you want. So just like last time, we're gonna have three winners. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick another winner. The next person who wins 
is unnamed cell. Okay, very um, mysterious of you, unnamed cell. <laughs> uh, let's see, be shipped worldwide. Oh gosh, so it looks like you are an international winner. Uh, your stuff looks so, so nice. Can they give away prizes? Be shipped worldwide. Not just yet. I'm so sorry. I cannot ship worldwide, but any principles that you want for my shop, please let me know what those printables are. I'd be happy to send all of those to your email and then you can have them printed wherever you are. Pick another winner. All right. So third winner is MNM Budget. Congrats on your Etsy shop. Enjoy your videos. Thank you so much, Eminem, for that nice comment. Please, please reach out to me. You are open to win anything in my shop that you like, and I will get those to you. And so I know that we do have an international winner on this video, so I will be sending them free printables. So let's go ahead and pick another winner that somebody, um, so that maybe we get somebody that is a little bit more local and they can win a binder and some envelopes. So one more winner. Last person is Kara Lee. Kara Lee, oh, you are pregnant, congratulations. I think you've commented on several of my videos. So Kara Lee, you are my fourth winner for this giveaway. Please reach out to me, let, you know, let me know what you would like from my shop and I will be happy to get those things to you. So that is it, that's the giveaway for our hitting 2,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who commented and thank you to everybody who has just supported this channel along the way. I really appreciate it. This has been a really fun journey for me and I, I wouldn't be able to do it to the level that I'm doing it, like with the Etsy shop and everything, if it wasn't for you guys supporting that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's get into our cash stuffing for the week. It is Monday morning. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're off to a great start to your week and things are going smoothly. Um, let's see, my kids are out of school for two weeks. We're on a year round school calendar. So it is very nice to have them at home. If you hear them in the background, I'm sorry, they live here too. So, you know, like <laughs> they might be making noise and um, they are currently playing with slime. So they're having fun in there. But anyways, let's get into this. Let's first count and make sure we have $500. Two, four, six, eight, ten, one, two, four, six, eight, two, two hundred, two, four, six, eight, three, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. So we're at four hundred and ten, twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty, ninety, ninety, one hundred, ninety, ninety, five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, five hundred. 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. So we have $500 to stuff this week. That is pretty typical for this channel. I am a low income single mom and I have two little boys and we have so far found a way to make things work um, off of about 500 per week is what my money kind of averages to. And I pull that $500 every week and go ahead and stuff it into our different accounts. Okay, straighten that up a little bit. If you guys are new here, I also tend to stuff about $100 later in the week and that goes towards savings challenges, which is just a way to save, uh, a fun way to save for bigger expenses. Like I'm saving for a big move, something else a lot of people use savings challenges for is to save for an emergency fund, that kind of thing. All right, so first we are going to stuff our not that. First, we're going to stuff our fixed expenses, which is things like bills, those reoccurring monthly things. I get questions about this all the time on the channel. A lot of people leave these kinds of things in the bank and they just pay it as they go. I have saved one month ahead of time. And so every single week, I just stuff a little bit, um, like usually about $300. And anything and that saves for all of my bills throughout the entire month so that on the first of the month I can pay all of those bills at once. So even if those bills aren't due, I go ahead and pay them and they're done and then I'm spending the entire month then saving ahead for the next month so I'm never behind or worried about a bill coming and not being prepared for it. So we are going to stuff $100 into rent, two, four, six, eight, ten. This should put us at the amount that our rent is because the first is on Friday. One, 200, 300, four, <clears throat> five, six, 650, 660, 680, 
700, 2, 4, 6, 8, 800, 2, 4, 6, 5, 865. All right, so rent is fully stuffed. I will pay that in the middle of this week so that on the first it is completely paid and ready to go. Preschool. Preschool is also on a year-round calendar, so I still have to pay the full amount even though they follow the, the school district and they're out for two weeks. It is a really nice preschool. I definitely don't keep him there for the convenience of that preschool because they are kind of, you know, like um, they are well, they're in a really nice area and they're really, how do I say? Uh, <laughs> the people using that preschool are putting their kids there for the experience, not necessarily for the like convenience and the help of the preschool because they really kind of, like I said, they follow the school district. It's pretty expensive for what it is. But anyway, my kid loves it. He's been there for three years now. And so I just keep him there because all his friends are there. And um, I was kind of in a different money situation when, we, when I first started him into that school. But I keep him there just because I know it's good for him, basically. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. We are adding $110 for preschool, and that should put us fully funded for October. Let's make sure two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and ten dollars. So preschool is fully stuffed. I'll go ahead and pay that on the first for the month of October. Electric, we already have all of electric, but let's just make sure, since we do have to pay it this week, electric is 150. Now, of course, electric is something that kind of changes and varies month to month. Mine is always 150 or lower. If by some chance it is thrown off just a little bit, say it's 160, I pay 150 every single month on the first. So there's kind of a little bit of leeway there with 20 to $30 that's just kind of sitting in that account basically um so i've never had to pay more than 150 for a month two four six eight one hundred and fifty dollars so 150 is ready for electric my electric bill is due in the middle of the month but i go ahead and pay it on the first just like everything else gymnastics this should also be fully stuffed but let's just check since we need to pay that so gymnastics should be at 100 let's just double check and make sure two, four, six, 70, 80, 90, 100. So gymnastics is fully stuffed and ready for October as well. Internet, internet is our, oh, okay. So I wrote this down incorrectly. I wrote that I only had $5 in internet, um, like for my, accounts like what I'm using when I set my budget I really need to get on top of things a little bit better so internet is only 70 let's see what we have because I was expecting to put $65 in here because I thought I only had five so clearly that's wrong so let's see we're at two four fifty sixty I must have meant that I only needed five so that's great news that is going to clear up you guys are going to see I'm going to have a lot of money left over um, $60 to be exact. So we will see where that goes at the end of this video. All right. Internet. That's awesome. Okay. So basically my sinking funds is going to get 60 extra dollars from what I expected. So that's amazing. I'm okay. Good way to start my Monday. <laughs> All right. Water needs 50. It's 50 a month. So we need to add $10, 20, 30, 40, $50. We are completely set on water. Variable expenses are those things that happen every single week, like groceries, fast food, gas money, those kinds of things. So I typically put about 100 to $200 in here, depending on how much I need for groceries for the week. This week we are only doing $50 for groceries. So we have a little bit um, more money to play around with. We're putting $50 into groceries for this week. I'm going to need to do a, a big grocery haul pretty soon. So that money is going to go up next week for sure. I'm just sort of replacing fresh produce and a little bit of meat. And then next week I'm going to need to do a bigger, you know, at least $100 to kind of refill what we've been dwindling down with these last few weeks. Fast food is going to get $20. 
Like I said, my kids are out of school for the week. So realistically, fast food and groceries is going to fresh food for them as well as a little bit of junk food and easy lunches, I guess I should say, um, that are going to be helpful for them. Fun, we are getting a little bit extra money for fun this week because kids are out of school. So we're gonna be going to the trampoline park and um, there's a couple of fun things I have planned for the week for them that I know are, are, it's just going to cost. We have a lot of things like the park and we have memberships different places that do not cost extra money for us, but because it's a two week break, I know that we're, we're gonna have to go on at least one or two like different or new things just to, to break up the time and to do something fun with them while they're off. So 20, 30, $45 is going into fun. And gas, gas is $30 as usual. $30 just like barely gets me through the week. I start to kind of say, okay, where do we, where are we not gonna go this weekend because we are running out of gas. So I may need to stuff a little bit more into gas. Right now it's kind of working for us, but just barely, you know? Now I don't have an envelope for this, but I am going to put $10 into kids allowance. I am not going to put that into their accounts yet because they haven't earned that money, but I am assuming they will earn that money throughout this week and I'll be able to pay them. Things are beeping. I'll be able to pay them allowance later in the week. So I'm just going to put this money back here and I would like to, while they are out for Two weeks, I would like to get them back in the routine of doing a little bit more chores and things around the house. So we will put that in there. Moving, okay, I opened that like a little prematurely. Moving is not getting any new cash this week. If you've been watching, you know that this is going towards a trip that I'm making soon. I wanna check out some apartments, check out some different work locations, that kind of thing in the area where I will be moving about 10 months from now. We're not gonna put any money into that. Um, we will put just $3 into cash stuffing. Oh, I'm just remembering we have extra money. So maybe we'll go back and do, um, we'll see where that money goes. But car maintenance is going to get $3. Let's see where we're at with this, shall we? For car maintenance. I need to update my tracker. Can I do that? Do you guys mind? Okay, and if you guys are unaware, these trackers as well as the stickers and everything can be found in my Etsy shop. The link is below for that. Okay, car maintenance, we have... Okay, 2, 4, 50, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, $81. So we have $81 for car maintenance. I'm gonna update this tracker. Our next sinking fun is haircuts. Oh, I really need to do a bill exchange. So this all will fit. Um, haircuts. My boys did just get haircuts. I am trying to go ahead and get a little money into this because I would love to get a haircut soon. We are going to do $5, so we are at five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am gonna go and update those trackers just at a different time, hopefully I remember. Um, but just being on the screen, I don't want it to take all day. Business, we will skip for now, sick days. I think that's fully stuffed with the $30 that I like to have in that. New phone is getting $5. Let's see. Okay, my camera died. <laughs> it's really not my camera. My my camera is a really good one. It's the fact that my it's the fact that my storage gets too full. So I I just need I don't know. I need to stop talking. <laughs> I talk too much. Let's let's recount this for clothes. We have 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 dollars. We're at 94 dollars for clothes, which is amazing. You'll know I really want to get some new clothes for myself. How often, I'm curious, how often do you guys get yourself, like, get yourself new clothes? Because with my kids, I have them on a really good routine. Like every school year, they get a lot of clothes. And then whenever the season starts to change, they get new pants. Um, and then, and then I guess towards the end of the school year, it's just as they need 
a couple things here and there. As an adult, however, I have not figured out a good routine on like purchasing things for myself. So it tends to be like a really long time that I don't buy clothes for myself until I realize like, okay, I have nothing to wear. So do you guys just buy outfits every so often? Do you buy a certain amount of things for yourself throughout the month? Like what is the, how do you do this? <laughs> and I think some people are just better at spending on themselves and I think that is a great thing I think that's a really like I'm not saying that as a negative thing I think I just need to make those purchases more often like how do I make them a priority you know <laughs> all right for family fun we are just going to add a couple of dollars this is money that will go towards our camping trip um, that is coming up very soon it's just to buy a couple of extra things like maybe a new flashlight or if they sell sodas while we're there you know it's we already have all of the camping stuff we need and our food money for the week like our grocery money tends to go towards any food that we need which to me is the big camping expense so I don't really see anything that we do need this is just a just in case or you know something that we want to purchase for fun I don't know so let's see we added two dollars we are at one two three four five six seven dollars now and then we are adding, I have written down that we're going to add $5 for books, but I will go ahead and say we're gonna add $10. You know, I had planned, I thought we needed more money for our bills. We don't. Um, so we're adding, I anticipated $5, but we're gonna go ahead and add a 10 because I know we're about to have a little money left over. Books is for um, Christmas for my boys. I like to do the 12 days of Christmas and give them a book every morning. Uh, so that's what this, this sinking fund is for. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. I don't think I've properly explained this category either. If you're new here or you're new to cash stuffing, all of these are sinking funds. These are things that come up throughout the year or even once a year that you know are going to come but this is just to help you from having to pay all of that expense at once. So books is a great example. Instead of middle of December, me spending, you know, $200 on books for my kids and not having to come all out of December's money, this is just being saved slowly so that whenever December comes and I need this money, it won't be such a huge expense. Car insurance. We are going to give car insurance $10. That is what I had planned anyway. We're going to go ahead and add another $10. So now for car insurance, we are at two, four, six, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety dollars for car insurance. And we have, let's see what we have left over. We have thirty, forty-five dollars that I did not plan on having really. So we're going to add five dollars to car tag. My car tag is very, very affordable. But let's go ahead and add five, six, seven, eight dollars. I just paid my car tag too, so we don't even really need that um, anytime soon. Let's go back and add a little bit of money towards that moving trip that I would like to make soon. We're going to add, let's go ahead and add 25 to that moving trip. And then we'll stuff this extra 15 in one more envelope. So moving, that puts us to, I really need to switch out some of these bills. Moving trip, we are at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 100, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. We are at $160 for moving, so I can make that trip pretty soon. And then what did not get any attention? Business. You guys know I have that Etsy shop that I'm making some money from, but I would really love to have a paper planner business. So this money goes towards starting that business, like purchasing samples to see what manufacturer I wanna go with, that kind of thing. So we are at two, four, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82 dollars. We're at $82 for business. That's exciting. I'm so excited about that um, paper planner that I've been working on that you guys have not seen yet, but hopefully you get to see it very soon. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I hope that your week is starting off amazing. Please let me know in the comments how you're doing. I love chatting with you guys. And this week is starting out a little less hectic than last week, so hopefully I get the chance to chat with you guys a little bit more in those comments. So. 
As always, thank you, love you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.